Mary Van Wert, Department of Communication Studies, University of Kansas. Mary, I know today we were talking about some of the work that you do internationally, which of course is training leaders and the profession. Can you talk a little bit about this project? It sounds very exciting. I'm fortunate enough to be the PI and the academic director for a grant from the State Department to host women leaders from a variety of Middle Eastern and South Asia countries. We also um, host women from North Africa and bringing them to the United States for roughly a six week um, immersion into American culture, but more importantly, into women's leadership in America. Um, we have, this is our second year being part of the State Department's SUSE program, Study of U.S. Institutes, and this year we're hosting two institutes. Uh, we hosted our summer institute and we'll be hosting one in the winter that begins January 14th. And how many participants do you have coming? The State Department chooses approximately 20 women for each institute. And this summer our women came from Afghanistan, Pakistan, Egypt, Morocco, Sudan, and India. And this winter our women will come from Bahrain, Oman, UAE, potentially Yemen, at least they're re recruiting women from Yemen, and also Egypt. Having done some work in that region, I know that it's very heartening to see the influence that you have in terms of them taking back these skills. Uh, as a teacher and a professor, can you talk about what it's like to see this extended classroom? Well, first of all, it's energizing for me as a, as a professor because they come to the United States so eager to learn and with an incredible intellect and a curiosity that sometimes we don't see as much of in our own classroom as we would like to. So what they bring into our classroom inspires our students as well, as not to mention what it does for us. Um, one of the things that we talk a lot about in our leadership approach is adaptive leadership and understanding that it's a system and it involves stakeholder voices. So the first thing that we do is differentiate leadership from authority. And I think right there that's both liberating and incredibly empowering for these women who are at the perfect age because the State Department will choose women who will return back home for at least one more year of university work. So they're right at that point where they're eager to make a difference. They're at the age where they can begin to make a difference and they have a cohort of students to return to where they can start to implement some of their new ideas. Well, congratulations. I think that uh, many of us in the discipline look at the public diplomacy grassroots efforts and the approach and you certainly, there are kudos for what you're doing. Thank, Thank you. you very much.